Um, that's it for these two trucks. Both of the uh, companies are going to be showing up here and probably within the next couple hours to pick these up. We'll see if they show up at the same time. I don't know. Welcome back to Rap Shop Garage, the craziest, busiest vinyl rap channel on YouTube. Here we are today with another wrecker. Uh, actually, it's a flatbed. This is a, another one for Ken Weber Toy and Recovery. We just got done doing that Peterbilt rotator for them. And uh, go check that video out if you haven't seen it. This one is uh, brand new, T480, with a 30 foot long bed ish. We'll take a look at it here in a second. But wait, hold on. We also have this Hino L6 here for a competing tow company here in the area. So it's a brand new Hino L6 with a standard uh, bed on it. And uh, we're gonna see whose comes out better. Or are they both gonna come out good? Well, let's take a look at these trucks. So here's the KW. Now what we're doing is we're doing a stripe, a reflective stripe down the side of the bed. We're doing reflective all across the back here. And again, stripe, reflective stripe down the, down the bed rail. And then we're putting on the reflective Ken Weber 20 recovery lettering along with the uh, striping, the two color striping that goes up the hood, down the door and around the back of the cab. Now on this Hino, uh, we still have come up with a design for the hood. These are kind of tough because these hoods are, uh, they don't give you a lot of surface area to work on with these hoods. So we struggle a little bit, come up with the designs to make them look good, but I think we've done pretty good in the past for these guys. Um, gets a logo on the hood, logo, large logo with some graphics on the door. They still need the, the stainless panel for the back here of the headache rack or whatever that's called on a tow truck. And we are wrapping the bed rails on this in their normal yellow. Um, we will be adding reflective to the back, but just not quite yet. Some stuff on the boxes, some identifying uh, marks, their website, and what have you. What I'm going to try and accomplish here, well, both of these trucks are getting started today. This one is probably going to get close to getting finished. This one, we should get a decent amount done out of it today. Video here, we're doing both trucks in one video. So enjoy, thank you for being here, and uh, if you're not subscribed, Please click the link below, subscribe, and turn on the alert so you know when a new video comes out. And as always, please like, tag, and share. So thank you. Enjoy the video. All right, I'm going to start with the stripe here on the side. I did a test piece already right here to make sure my theory was going to work behind this. I went and pre-cut holes, and I'm doing tiny little overlaps above every third or fourth light. Uh, it's too much to cut a complete stripe for this unless you buy it pre-cut. So... We're going to lay the next piece on here and I'm doing these soapy water with no mask and the lights keep it straight for me. trick is just not to touch anything with it other than where it's going. I'm gonna need dirt on it. I'm gonna start by centering these these two lights. So I'll get my straight line in order here. Like that. And again just let this fall into place. I'm not gonna pull it or tweak it. That'll give me a nice straight line then. I don't even have to measure, so. And just like in everything that we wrap, you start in the back and work forward so that your seams overlap towards the back of the vehicle. So some of you are probably wondering, well, why am I, why don't I just pull these lights out? Well, um, normally I would, and I normally do, but these have these stainless trim rings around them, so they're not as easy as just pulling them out. And the wiring is loomed, tucked, zip-tied, really, really nice. I'm going to have, in pulling these lights, I'd probably have 
three hours um, plus and just pulling them and then putting them back in. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's working out actually really good. You can see we just end up with a, these trim rings move a little bit. We just end up with a tiny little seam right there. No harm, no foul. It's minimal because it's above the light and it's only gonna be, there's a seam every fourth light. So sometimes you just gotta do uh, stuff that you wouldn't normally do. Like I said, normally I'd pull these lights but literally these stainless trim rings and the way the, the wiring's talked it just doesn't make sense. All right, so off camera, I just ripped off the whole stripe that I did. Uh, once I stood back and looked at it, I did see some dips and dives in it. Nothing major, but it wasn't perfect. So this is a six inch rail. I'm doing a two inch stripe. I only have inch and a half masking tape. So I just ran that along the top edge to give me, to give me something else to follow. So I'll have, you know, a half inch between the top of the stripe and that I should be able to get that right on the money. It was too much to eyeball the other way. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again. Um, you guys don't need to watch me do this, so I'll check back with you in uh, just a minute. Okay, now that I got this side restriped, it does look better that I use my guideline, um, but let's reflect back on the errors of my ways. Was it my computer cut circles that were off? No. Uh, what was causing the dipping? Well, I decided to measure up on each light to center and these lights, so my error actually was assumption. Assuming that these lights were two feet on center and the same three and a quarter inches up or three and an eighth to the center. Um, that was the error of my ways. So these lights are not all perfectly in line, which I don't know why I was assuming they would be, but that's what was throwing me. So the guy line definitely helped and I made sure I kind of adjusted it going along and it, it looks a lot better. It still has a little bit of dip and wave to it because if I would have went straight, we'd end up with big red circles underneath some of the lights. And uh, for the most part, it's good. It's not perfect. The only way to make it perfect would be to drill the lights in after. Because if I run my straight stripe, which with all the lights, I can run it perfectly straight. But then you're going to have lights that are higher in the stripe and lights that are lower in the stripe. So what do you do? This. I'm going to finish up a little piece up here. Don't know how else to make that look good. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to go stripe the other side and I'll catch up with you and we're going to do the, the side graphics here. We're going to do the hood and the door. Well, this side was a lose-lose situation for me. The lights were even worse on this side than the other side. No matter what I do, even if I would have pulled all the lights and ran just a straight stripe with no holes pre-cut into it, my stripe would be perfectly in between the rails here. However, when I went to put the lights back in, some would be higher in the stripe and some would be lower in the stripe. And I actually made a little cardboard template here just to make sure I wasn't nuts. So I went along and and checked all these and some of them are, are a quarter inch off. I don't know what else to do at this point. Um, it, it looks like another vinyl shop did this, not me. I run straight strikes. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna see what the owner says. Yay for me. I am gonna be sliding the bed back to run a stripe all the way around the cab. So I'm just gonna get the sides on first and I'll slide the bed back and get the piece on the back. This is always fun. Did I measure something wrong? Did I lay it out wrong? Did I take into account some kind of curve? 
Let's see. Are back on the hood. My original design when I did this back in the day, we didn't have these steep angle hoods, so the design technically should start about here. The only way to do that would be to start it here, do a cutout for the fender of the stripes, and then continue on. But that wouldn't look good either. So you have to kind of play it by ear, moving this back. The unit number is going to go here, which again, I'm not a fan of also, but there's a bump shield going on here that'll fill this area in. So it is what it is. I have a layout somewhere around here. It appears I have these generally in the right position. Let's double check with the stripes. And then what I'll do when I get these kind of in position, I'll level out this stripe and then run this off of that rather than running this first because then my stripe might come in angled on the door. So I have to work off of that. The thing about the hood stripes, I have to eyeball those off of that stripe when I get it on. There's no way to measure that. So I have enough of an extension here that I get lined up. I can't lay this down until I get the other components here, the towing and recovery and the two city states to go in here because they have to line up with the strike. So I just want to double check everything before I lay it out. So I'm going to go quick throw on the other side and then I'll check back with you in a second. All right, I think we're ready to rock on the stripe. And then after the stripe's down, I get this laid out. I double checked everything, put the towing and recovery up here and everything lines up. So we're going to get the stripe down and uh, the lettering. So we had a problem on the last truck, the rotator that we did. Now remember, I haven't done these trucks in a long time. Uh, 2005, eight, somewhere in there. Last time I did one of these trucks before that rotator. So the way we used to do these is, was all cut vinyl. So the yellow was a solid color from 3M, the burgundy was a solid color from 3M. And now the way I want to do it is I want to print it so it's one piece, so we don't have any intersecting, overlapping lines. The burgundy that I printed, um, and I can't believe I didn't catch it, it was too light. So I'm going to have to pull the burgundy off of that truck and redo it. Now this burgundy, because I really don't want to cut it on a cut vinyl. So I worked on color matching today for probably about an hour, getting the color dialed in, and it's... It's not exact, but it's very close to the cut color. So I'm hoping that it's that it flies because I really don't want to redo the burgundy stripe on two trucks. Because I do have to redo it on that rotator. And they're on board with me for printing it, so they they want to see it printed also. Probably put my other camera on. I took this thing off because it gets so hot. So I can't get a really good tape line. Uh, maybe I can get it right here. Yeah, I can get it there. So I was gonna go across the top here, but no need to.
I don't know if Dan lost it when he was weeding, but it shouldn't have shouldn't have had a cut here, so I don't know what happened. We'll put a piece in. It's hard to see with all my reading glasses, but I can't find them. I think they're in the shop here somewhere. Alright, so I need a piece of yellow there. Nothing more frustrating than when your first cut doesn't go through. All right. That's all cleaned up. It's 586. There's really nothing to measure by. the fact that it's going to be like up in the middle of the hood here but it's always pretty close to the stripe it's a good thing about decals nothing's ever permanent we decide we don't like it there we'll pull it off and put a different one on all right what's going to dictate this is the spacing between Pewaukee Lake and Cocoa Beach I just screwed this up. This is supposed to be here. This is supposed to be here. I was wondering why that gap was there. Oh, God. I'm gonna go in and recut one of these. Now I could have just edited out that last part with putting this in the wrong place, but from the get-go, I've told you guys, I want this channel to be real. This is what happens. We screw up. We screw up all the time. It happens. Um, no big deal. It's a sticker. You pull it off, put it in the right place. So, with that said, I got the new piece on in the correct position. And now we have to get the Ken Weber lined up. It happens. Okay, this side of the cab, done. I have to put some stuff on the box here. Let's move over here. All right, onto the wheel lift. I have a, a piece, a reflective piece on the center here, but I have all pre-cut for all the holes. I'm covering up this tail light housing and that tail light housing.
Oh, while I'm printing this other reflective piece I need for the back tail light housing, I'm gonna jump up here and do the KW level. So. thing I thought about that I used to do on his trucks and I completely forgot. We used to do chevrons on the back sides of the mirrors with his uh, KW logo in the middle of it. So I'm gonna try and get that done tonight too. This guy, we're just gonna get behind, behind the molding, or the weather stripping. Okay, so the one last thing I'm gonna do tonight, cut some vinyl to fill this in on the mirror. I don't know if we went all the way around. I thought we just went here. So we get a picture of this, some chevrons in with the KW logo right in the center of it and that'll complete this thing. I'm having second thoughts on these mirrors because I think the ones that we did they were red not chrome so I don't know if I want to put it on the chrome so if they decide they want it then we can put them on at some point but right now I'm not going to do it because I'm almost positive they were red. Tomorrow I have to head out to a uh, couple different municipalities to do some work. So Dan is going to get this uh, Floyd's truck done. He's going to shoot some footage on it and uh, that'll be Wednesday and I'm going to try and uh, get these guys here Thursday to pick up their trucks together and we'll see how that goes.
And that's a wrap on this T480 Kenworth for Ken Weber Towing and Recovery. Came out nice. Uh, I was a little disappointed in the bed, but uh, bringing it outside, it looks pretty good. So in general, I'm happy with this. I hope they are. It, uh, it looks pretty good out here. So they should be here shortly to pick this thing up and let's hope they like right. it. And that's a wrap on this Hino flatbed for Floyd's towing. I think it came out okay. Honestly, I didn't do anything on this. As you've seen in the video, Dan did this whole truck. Um, but I think he did a nice job. Uh, hopefully Chase likes it. I know he's on his way, so we'll see what he has to say. That's a nice ride. How are we? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Cool. Small ones. Sounds good. Thank you. Woo. What is that? Yeah. Do you guys have any of those Hinos? Uh, I had two, I have down to one. Okay. I just sent Jason like that's cute. Yeah, we actually, I can, we tow them on there. I was gonna say, oh, that'd be a cool uh, picture if we threw that up on there. Yeah, yeah check <laughs> it out. So everything came out really good. I matched this color now, so now we're dialed in. Cool. These lights are not at the same level all the way down. Oh God. So they're off anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch to some, a couple more half inch. Really? So if oh, stripe yeah, yeah. varies a little bit, because I actually redid this side. I'm like, it's doing the same thing. So then I, I made a template to measure up and I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. Like, do they just hand drill these or? Uh, they claim they use a laser. Okay. So the other option is we pull that, pull all the lights and lay the stripe down the center completely, which I can lay a straight stripe. That's not a problem. But then we go put the lights back in. Some of the lights are going to be, you know, higher on the stripe and right. some are going to be lower on the stripe. So you have to decide. I don't care either way. Yeah, I mean, I can he pull. Might, he might want to end up doing it later on, but that's a lot of, you know, what the. Pull pulling the stripe that'd off. That'd be like a fall thing. Yeah. Pulling the stripe off. It's I need 10 minutes. Now. I don't care right. about that. You know, it's uh, and they'll, to lay a straight stripe on there. No problem. But just remember that it's going to be, you know, a little goofy. it's the, yeah, the lights are going to be a little goofy. So it's, it's a horse apiece. And your machine cuts some circles right off for you. Yep. That's cool. Spaced out exactly at, you know, 24 inches on center. So you can see some lights are a little bit off because it's some lights are a little bit off. Right. So my... Yeah, so if we pulled them out, you would end up just peeling it off and then just run it down. And just run a straight stripe, them. cutting them out. Yeah. But then you got to remember that some of them would be a little bit lower, some are a little bit higher. Oh, you'd have to kind of work with it a little bit too. You just want to see the gap. This would be your next baby to do. Okay. So, oh, that's a nice looking truck. Yeah. I got a lot of money on this thing. So but, it's got a different back on looking thing. It's a lot bigger, a lot fatter. Yeah. So the, the just, I'll be able, I can throw semis on the wheel after this one. Oh, nice. So, so what, it, what can this wheel lift handle? Uh, just a standard. You can do a, it's like a 65. A, so this is, I don't know, she just might have did a bigger one on this one. This is a four. I do 65s on the okay. tandems. So I can do, I mean, we've done a box truck with them and I, I've done a couple tractors from the rear. I, it's not the greatest thing for me to do. But right. Yeah, it turned out nice. Yeah, I think so. See, I like that, going right from the middle and walking it out. My guys got, yeah, yesterday was horrible. Um, this light's really high. What's that? This light's really high. That light, I think, is a half inch off. Jesus. How can you have it that fucked up? Now they're going to take a, they use a laser, now they're going to use a square on the next bed. I'm like, well, that would make that's, sense. That's what you should have used the first time. Right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I didn't know Chase was here. Did you Dude, know he was coming tonight? I knew he was going to come at some point. Anything. Wait, you're going to load it up and... No, she drove. She oh. drove me. Came up here. So we both worked and then we came here when we got done doing something. Exactly. This looks nice and cleaner. You don't do much. This is a fresh one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little dirty, dude. I did pull a drive shaft. I did. Ooh. It's my wife, Sean. Hello, I'm Chris. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, Sean. How are you? <laughs> Good, you? <laughs> Right well, you want to look at yours? Sure, might as well. Look yeah, I'm going to do the tour, too. Yeah. You know you were here? No. Was this planned? No. <laughs> no, it was completely by chance. Yeah. So. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know. Yeah, I was telling him. So, you know, I get all this stuff outside earlier today. Ambulance is sitting on your $500,000 sitting right there. Yep. And then they call for the storm to start coming in. And yep. I, I'm sitting in my office, I hear hail. But thank God it was just tiny little. 
Dude, I was down at Lynch yesterday. Chicago, they had like a hundred trucks. What are you looking at? Up Fuck the stripe up. Oh, I see it. It need to be backed up. Yeah, now I see it. What's wrong with it? The letters don't line up with the, the dots. Exactly. The letters don't line up with the lines. With the with lines, the, with oh, the lines. All yeah. The yeah. What? I don't even know what truck I grabbed that off of then. That it would be like that. Mm -hmm. No one's going to notice that, no notice that but you. Does that mean the other side is right? No, I don't no know. they're the same. They're they're duplicated. No, but because the. Uh, huh? That's right. No, we'll get it fixed up. Fine for now because we'll, they're going to put the stainless on the back. Yep, because I have the other piece printed for that. Yeah, they're going to put a big so, chunk of stainless across the back here. I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the other trucks, this 30 and 31. What? This is the use side puller yeah, that did? Yeah, it's the use side puller. Looks nice. Yeah. And we'll change that out. Are you going to tow me back? If you want to be towed back. We'll just reprint this piece I here. Had a couple margaritas. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. And I just put that on. Yeah, I didn't know. It's okay. Coming out here. Yeah. Surprise. Be a little right. different. That's all. For now. For now. When it comes back for that, we'll just swap that out real quick. Yeah. There we go. You can lay that on about four seconds, I imagine. Nah, probably ten because of the key locks. Ah. Okay. Don't know. Yeah, it's a good. It looks good. Yep. And I had them go behind the oh, the okay. stanchions here too because I think your face only covers this, right? Your face only covers here. Yeah. yeah. So mm, back we just left, but this then yeah, is. Good. All right. Yay. So what yeah. time you guys work until tonight? I hope to be done after this, but. Oh, it must be nice. Yeah, I hope to be done after this too. But the painters are coming to paint the outside of the building again tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. because they couldn't paint today. Yeah. So they're trying to get ahead. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's mad. He's, this hydraulic hose thing has been driving his driving driving him crazy. Why? What do you mean? Him. Why? What? It's running like a bunch of idiots. That's right. So oh. Your clips are different on that one. Is that is that him running? That you don't like the way it's dropped down like that? No, it looks stupid. Yeah, it does. It should be in the frame rail. So are you gonna fix that? No, I'm gonna run it for two hundred thousand miles <laughs> and on then it, trade it, it in. So. It. Oh. What did you trade in for this? Uh, twenty six, which is one you haven't seen. Okay. Twenty miles around that one. Two thirty two. Yeah, twenty six. It's a nice Durango you got there. Huh? I said that's a nice Durango you got there. It looks exactly like who was just here, Craig? Charlie. Charlie. It looked exactly like that. She Did you? Blacked out one. Oh, that's nice. I like the blacked out one thing on it. She likes the blacked out one. The one I have has chrome. Oh yeah, that's the new one, ain't it? That's yeah, it's hers. Well, I have to run in and get What's your key because it's way up on the counter. So I'll be right back. Oh, okay.